Okay, so today's assignment is going to be, or today's task is going to be to solve rational equations. So on your paper, please write solving rational equations. Remember, rational means fractional. Okay, here's our first problem. In order to solve a rational, a rational equation, we get to cheat. Now, we cannot do this. This is not possible to do with rational expressions. What's the difference? An expression does not contain an equal sign. So our goal with this problem is to find out what does x equal? So that when you substitute in that value, you can take this value plus this value, and it will equal to this value. Let's figure out what that x value is. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a common denominator. So this has 1x, this has 2x's, and this has 1. So a common denominator would be 2x's. For those of you who do not recognize this, x squared is the same as x times x. So a common denominator would be for each one of these terms to have 2x's. So whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. Now they all contain an x squared. As soon as you have found, as soon as you have found a common denominator, you get to wipe out the bottom. You literally just get to just cross out the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to cross out the bottom, and I'm only going to be concerned with what's on top. On top, I have 1x plus 1 equals 3x. And I'm solving for x. So I'm going to move the 1x to the opposite side. Opposite of a positive 1x is a negative 1x. It cancels. 3x subtract 1x is 2x. I divide by 2. And now before I identify this as the actual answer, I have to look up to the original problem. The original problem had an x, an x squared, and an x. Let's talk about excluded values. What would we be in trouble with? What would x have to equal right here for us to have a 0 in the denominator? Zero. And what squared would equal zero? Zero. And here again is zero. So if this answer was zero, we'd have to say, oh, it doesn't work. It's an excluded value. But this answer is not zero, so we're going to represent it as a solution like this. I could circle it like this, or I could write it like this. Number two. First step is to find a common denominator. So I have 5xx, 5xx, and I have an xx, which means this very last portion needs to have a 5 multiplied by it. Remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. Now I have 5x squared, 5x squared, 5x squared. You can only do this when solving rational equations, not when simplifying rational expressions. Expressions don't have equal signs. We cancel at the bottom. And before I do anything else, let's talk about excluded values. Remember, this constant's not going to somehow equate to a excluded value. What would we be in trouble with if x equaled 0? Because 0 squared is 0. 0 squared is 0. So I don't want to have x equals 0. That's an excluded value. Keep that in mind. OK, let's solve the top. 2x plus 4 equals x plus 4 plus 15. I'm going to move the x to the opposite side by subtracting it. The x is on the right, now cancel out. And I'm going to combine like terms. 4 plus 15 is 19. 2x minus 1x is 1x. Now move this 4 to the opposite side. Opposite of adding is subtracting. Dividing by 1 does not change anything. 
So it's okay to leave it in this form, or we can go, okay, that's not one of the excluded values. There's our answer. Now, how can we check to see if we did this right? If we took 15 and we substituted it in wherever we see an X in the original problem that you see in purple, when the left side equals the right side, we've just proved that 15 is the correct answer. Number three. So to find a common denominator, I want to raise this up to a 4, and I do that by multiplying times 2 times 2. Now they all contain a 4, and I can see that I want to have all of the x's to be x squared. So I'm good, and I'm good, but this needs to have an additional x. Now before we go any further, let's talk about excluded values. We would be in trouble if x was 0, because 0 squared is 0. So I don't want to have x equal to 0. That's an excluded value. Let's wipe out the bottom and solve the top. I want to emphasize you can only do this when solving rational equations that include equal signs. So I'm going to, you can move the x's to one side and the constants to the opposite side, however you want to do it. That is not the excluded value. I can leave it in this form, or I could write it like this. The fourth problem I would like you to write down To make sure that I've written this correctly. Okay, now this time it's going to be just a little bit different. This time I want you to do this problem the entire time with your current elbow partner. I'm going to be doing it slowly. If you get stuck, look up or look up when you are completely done. Begin. <coughs> By a raise of hands, how many of you were able to achieve an answer of one? Okay, we're going to take a practice problem as if this is a checkpoint quiz. And we're going to do it almost in real time. So if I gave you this problem, you'd have one minute to do it. So please write it down with me. I won't start the timer until you've completed writing down the problem.
Okay, your one minute begins right now. Please check with your partner. The correct answer is on the board. If both of you and your partner have it wrong, raise your hand, I'll come over and help you. <laughs> 